Yo, what's happening everybody and welcome back to another video. It's Landon in a PC and today we're talking about the Asus ROG Swift PG27 UCDM. Now most of you who have been following my content know I'm a huge Asus fan. I absolutely love their monitors. I love their motherboards. Pretty much everything that they sell, I love it. But I'm going to be honest with you guys and we're going to talk about this monitor today and just kind of give you guys my overall thought. There is one thing that I think Asus needs to do to make this monitor pretty much a 10 out of 10. But guys, I will say this monitor has just absolutely impressed me so much. Even though we had the PG32 UCDM, most of you know me by having that monitor. The box is actually still over here, <laughs> right next to the 5090. So we do have a PG32 UCDM. I actually gave that to a friend of mine and he was completely blown away by that monitor. So guys, we are in a game right now of Warzone. Let's show you guys kind of the screen a little bit. Now guys, the one thing that I think Asus needs to do with this monitor, even though it looks absolutely stunning right here, guys, it's just absolutely, I mean, you guys see the color, uh, the brightness is really good as well, like in this scene, but there is one thing they need to do, and that is come out with a firmware update to increase console HDR brightness, just like they did with the PG32 UCDM. Everything else is absolutely stunning on this monitor. As you guys can see, like, look how, like, this looks really good. But, and also not only that, but the pixel per inch that you get with the 27 inch monitor versus the 32 is absolutely just, guys, the sharpness is noticeable over the PG32 UCDM. Now, most of you guys know this monitor does support DisplayPort 2.1. So you do have to have a 5090 though to actually utilize that. I'll show you guys the 5090. And we have the Z790 Asus ROG Strix Apex Encore. I had to think about that for a second. But as you guys can see the monitor, the colors, the, the contrast, everything is absolutely stunning on this monitor. Guys, we're running 4K extreme settings, running 250 FPS guys. 4K extreme settings. I'm gonna show you guys the settings right now just so you actually believe me. And we only have DLSS on 20%. So we got the extreme, extreme settings. Now we only have quality. I like quality because it actually like looks good and it kind of softens the edges up. We only have it on 20%. So we're barely using, we're barely using um, DLSS. We're not using like performance, you know, where it just completely, you lose picture quality guys i tell you what though look how stunning just look how stunning this monitor looks but getting back to the point and i gotta be honest with you guys because these monitors are really expensive they do need to improve the brightness i'm gonna say it for you guys and i hope someone from asus is watching this they're probably not but if they are um yeah, if they come out with that that firmware update to give us the performance that we deserve for a $1,200 monitor, even though, guys, it's close. I'm not saying it's bad by any means. I'm just saying that they need to come out with the firmware update to, to and this would make it a 10 out of 10. I, I would give this monitor, I would give this monitor a 10 out of 10 if they came out with that firmware and increased the brightness. So, like I said, amazing monitor. Now, one thing I do want to say is some people have been commenting saying, dude, your monitor looks way better than mine. Well, that's because I've, I've calibrated mine, guys. So let's go ahead. Let's go into the settings. Let's show you exactly what I'm running. We got brightness at 100 and contrast at 100. Now, we have it at 100 because, see, this is kind of an, another annoying thing is you have to have contrast and brightness at 100 to get it this bright you have to so that's kind of annoying um we have they do have that new uh anti-flicker mode which is super cool so if you are um you know if if you are very um you know if, if you were bugged by this on the other monitor uh they have that new mode we got hdr 10 HDR setting is console hdr we have adjustable hdr and dynamic brightness boost so it gets brighter Color temp uh, on user at the bottom, saturation 75. And then we went into the NVIDIA control panel and moved up digital vibrance to 60 and brightness to 62. And this is what you'll get is an amazing image like this. Not oversaturated in my opinion. Some people might think it is oversaturated, but I will say the sharpness with the better pixel per inch is noticeable. 
it's it's really just amazing. I mean, I've had people comment the exact same thing. They're like, dude, you're 100% right. This is the sharpest image I've ever seen. And you know what, guys? Again, I think this is the best 4K OLED monitor out. And if not, it's probably one of the only because this is the first 4K OLED 27-inch monitor. Now, some people were turned off by the 27-inch. Guys, I tell you what, I grew up playing on a 27-inch monitor. So it wasn't a big deal for me to come back to this. And I must say, I, I, I do like this size over the 32. I just feel like the 32 is just is just too much. It's just too much. There's a guy right there too. <laughs> but guys, 240 FPS. We are fully utilizing that 240 hertz right there. But again, this is the kind of colors that I love on a monitor. You know, I love this, you know, where the grass just pops out, the trees pop out. You know, this is, this is just what looks good to me. There's literally a guy right in front of me at the buy station. He doesn't even see me. Look, I'm gonna kill him with one hand. Oh, we actually downed him with one hand. <laughs> that's just funny. Anyways, guys, that's probably gonna end the video for today. I really just wanted to give you guys my honest opinion on how this monitor really looks. It is absolutely stunning. So don't take away from the fact that I said, you know, hey, they need to just improve the HDR brightness. I know a lot of people are anal about that. So that's why I just wanted to be 100% straight up with you guys and not just, you know, say, hey, the monitor is amazing and, you know, not tell you what actually needs to be changed on it. So they update the firmware. This is going to be a 10 out of 10 in my book. Anyways, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Drop a comment on what you want to see on the channel and I'll make it happen for you. Peace, guys.